Visiting Why did Casablanca held Mamelotti Sundowns to a pulsating 1-1 draw in their Champions League Group D opener at Lucas Moripe Stadium on Saturday. The home side went ahead after just three minutes courtesy of an own goal by Wydad's Ibrahim Kaumara but Ismail El Haddad restored parity 16 minutes later. Right from the start Sundowns looked absolutely determined to grab a win with a couple of early chances which they failed to utilize. However the visitors nearly took the lead on 26 minutes but Dennis Oyango produced a fine save to deny Mohamed Onahim's effort from the edge of the box. Meanwhile, the pace of Sundown's front line was proving to be a thorn in Whited's plans. GT and Serino busted up front on the 32th minute but his feeble shot went few centimeters out of the goal mouth. Whited could have had a second on the 9 minutes to the break but this time, Brahim Nakic's effort lacked the required accuracy to trouble on Yango in a one-on-one -on -one situation. The game went into the halftime interval with the scoreland locked at 1-1. After the break, Whited who were pinned back in their own half brought and made some few changes to address the problem of Amin Tigazwi's isolation up front. Half chances fell to Salahuddin Sidi who had a goal-bound shot rattled by the post while Nahari's shot was punched out. The visitors continued to dominate proceedings as the game went on but were finding it hard to break down the Sundown's defense. On the other end, Sundown skipper Halumpo Kakana came close to handing his side the lead when he unleashed a strike from distance but the midfielder's effort was diverted away from danger and out for a corner. The defending champions nearly caught Sundowns on the break in the 69th minute, but Omiengo was on hand to deny Hokic's strike at goal. With time running out, the clash became a stop-start affair with Whited attempting to soak up every minute as fatigue began to set in. So Mozumain's charges were building patiently going forward with 20 minutes to play while Whited were defending with numbers behind the ball, with the hope of catching Sundowns on the counter. The visitors held firm but Sundowns were guilty of not testing the away keeper enough as the final whistle blew ensuring that they started off their campaign with a share of the spoils.